Hello, I'm Commander Dart, and I love food. London is one of the greatest cities in the world. History and tradition everywhere you look. I'm here on London Bridge. This is London Bridge. Yeah, I know what you're thinking of. That's there. That's not London Bridge, that's Tower Bridge. And this is a big glass thing in front of me. And I'd love to tour you around London more, but I've got a more important mission. I'm here in Whitehall where all the British government happens, the British civil service, but to be honest, I prefer food. The 14th century Leadenhall Market was empty, being a Sunday in a pandemic, and Borough Market seemed devoid of life. So I headed a bit further out to Camden Town. Security presence was high at the markets, but I sneaked a few shots of the food, which came from all around the world, before settling on a burrito. But as I ate my burrito, I thought, you can find every cuisine in London, so how about Filipino? So I'm here in Earl's Court in London, and this is the traditional area where Filipinos traditionally settle. But the restaurants I'm going to are in other parts of London, more gentrified places like Hoxton. And here in Brixton, First, let's go back to Camden Town, because there's this dirty ice cream shop in nearby Kentish Town, with all kinds of Filipino flavours. I probably should have got something warm, but being commanded out, I got ice cream. It's below freezing and I have an ice cream. It's not going to melt at least. I'm not a fan of ube ice cream normally, but I like this. I'm struggling to mix this together. I'm not the Halo Halo King, but hey cool ass, I'm eating Halo Halo in the cold in London. What's going on with my life? I don't know, but <laughs> that's how I got to this stage, I think. Mm. Approved. I'm going to eat this by myself. I spent the next half hour reconsidering my life choices before heading over to Hoxton on empty public transport. Bong Bongs was the creation of Lee and Sinead, who won a national TV show with their Filipino-inspired dishes. Today they're filming an instructional video for their Shrove Tuesday meal kits. Three pancakes. <laughs> which stars Lee's mum, Leah. Ah, how cute is this? <laughs> Isn't this cute? Huh? <laughs> right. Are we, are we on? So guys, you should have this box in front of you. This was made by our own hands and delivered by our own hands as well. And stamped by me. Yeah, stamped by me as you can tell. Look at that. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I get up. Yes, the swearing face. So. Please ignore that. <laughs> Mang Thomas, which is like the god of all sauces in the Philippines. It's called all purpose sauce. You can literally clean your windows with it. It's great. <laughs> yes. And then. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Crispy pata is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, is a traditional dish in the Philippines. So it's. So this is a pork hock. Traditionally you boil it, so it's like boiled with vinegar, garlic, bay, loads of different aromatics. We've got star anise in there. We actually, so we sous vide ours. So this one is sous vide for 36 hours. Sorry guys, I'm just learning how to do this. <laughs> I've never done this before. 
that it literally smells so good that I wish that I could just put in the oven and <laughs> So with one hour in the oven to go, I decided to use the time to ask Lee and Sinead about what they do. We had a restaurant on Hackney Road, which is only just around the corner here, but after first lockdown, we, yeah. we had to close it all down, unfortunately. Yeah. So now we are, we're on Hoxton Street, we've just set up a prep kitchen. The place here is called Cradle. And hopefully when everything lifts back up, we're gonna start doing some pop-ups here and you know, get a bar running and do bits yeah. and pieces again, yeah. I was born in Manila. Um, my mum, who is around, she's around somewhere, you'll see her. <laughs> yeah, mum's Filipino, dad's English. I was born in Manila, but then we moved to, moved to England when I was really young. So I was brought up in Northampton and Sinead was, well, I'm Irish. Yeah. <laughs> um, I moved here to London about 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, and I think I was here like a month and I met Lee and um, yeah, got interested in Filipino food, yeah. Filipino culture. Yeah. Yeah. And like cooking wise, like, so we're, we're both, we're not trained chefs or anything, mm. but like food wise, we just, we just always love cooking, don't we? Yeah, we always we just really yeah. like catering for people, cooking like big meals at home, that sort of thing. Yeah. And we just thought like, we just wanted to turn our passion into our business. So, Start, started up barbecue dreams, yeah. <laughs> I forgot my questions. I always do this, I always do this. I know what I'm gonna do until yeah. I have a camera in front of me. <laughs> in terms of your, your food now and your mm. Filipino food now, mm. what would you say is your speciality classic dish? I would say um, our lechon quali has been quite like yeah. a big one. That's yeah. been really popular here. Yeah. And, the, and the crispy pata. And the crispy pata, yeah. which is what we're working on today. Yeah. But also we do our own take on a kare kare, which yeah. has been really good and really popular. And yeah. we've done, we do a chicken kare kare, but we also do a roast aubergine one, which is a vegan dish. Yeah. Um, I'd say that like- We do really good like, adobo wings as well. Oh yeah. Place. They're really popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually, we took, my Lola's like recipe for adobo, and then we t reduce that and turn that into a glaze. Yeah. And we use that on a lot of stuff. So we yeah. do like a, um, a fried cauliflower with adobo glaze and calamansi aioli or chicken wings. Yeah. And now we're working on doing some like like big roasted pork ribs with, with an adobo glaze yeah, on it as well. Really yeah. yeah, yeah, they're the ones. <laughs> awesome. Are your recipes kind of classic Filipino or are they modified to the British taste? Because I'm Irish, we we, we don't, it's not traditional. <laughs> because Filipino. you're Irish. No, it's only no, because, because she's Irish. Yeah. No, it's, it's more that it's inspired. You kind of introduced me to Filipino food mm. and your mom, mm. and that would be more traditional. But mm. what we've done, because we're here and Kind of yeah, and we're not traditional we're Filipinos, not traditional. You know, yeah. as, as you can tell. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> I was brought up in bloody Northampton, you know. So, like, <laughs> so we have we have adapted it, so it is more Filipino inspired. So we take what we really like from Filipino food, and then we kind of like do our own take on it. Yeah, yeah. In terms of your main market and and, and people who buy it, are you mm. are you is it the Filipino community here, or is it more local British people? It's a mix. Isn't it is a mix. It's, yeah. I would say it's mostly British people, like yeah, like foodies, people who follow us, especially in street food. Yeah. Um, you know, people who follow us on Instagram, that sort of thing. But that that's kind of our core. Yeah. When when we were on a show called Million Pound Menu, which came out a few years ago, and from then our Filipino base really increased. Yeah. So now we do we do cater a lot for for Filipinos. Sorry. That's the pork pork alarm. Pork, um, the pork alarm's gone off. So I'm gonna ask. One last question, which I've totally forgotten. In that. <laughs> What's the reaction been to Filipino food since you've started really serving it in London? It's been incredibly positive. Yeah, really positive. Luckily, we were kind of one of the first people doing Filipino street food. So at the beginning, it was a real struggle, wasn't yeah. it? It was hard to, you know, nobody knows, knew what Filipino food was. But in the past six years, we've just seen like a real growth in Filipino food. Filipino food is really taking off and Reaction to it has been incredible. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, and, and very nice to meet you. And and and, and Sinead, sorry. <laughs> Try again. Very nice to meet you, Lee and Sinead, today. And awesome what you're doing. And of course, your mum. I, I forgot. I forgot what your name was. Leah. 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 And you're from Iloilo, right? Eh? Yes. Yes. And, and and how long have you been in the, in the UK for? Oh, how old are you? How long was I? 36, 36 now. <laughs> oh, right. so 30, 36 years 30, in, 30, in, in the UK. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Yeah, 35, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, really nice to meet you. And I'm just looking at this thing on the wall, of which I have none. I hope I didn't burn it, like, filming an interview rather than 
getting out there. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Great. Perfect. Perfect board. Perfect interview timing. That's what that is. I'm professional at something. I'm professional at only one thing. Timing. 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 Comic timing. Timing. <laughs> I mean, look at that. But while they videoed themselves putting their crispy patter pancakes together, of course all I wanted to do was eat one. How, 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 how on earth do I... <laughs> Just smash it in your mouth. Hang on, well, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think this would... You see the size of my mouth, right? Yeah, you can probably do that all in one, right? Go in, I, yeah, go on. The oh, funny I thing is like... I could. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he done it! He done it! <laughs> this here is awesome, really incredible. It's just the flavour, flavour overload right there. The food was great, but they weren't going to let me go without speaking some Bisaya. Yeah, go on, hold it to oh, you okay. when you're asking a question. I don't hi. worry about this. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful lady. Hi, 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 hi. Ano kita ang pangalan mo, anak? And then oh. you... Si... Si Anselm Go, o Kumanda Taot. Ano kita ang apelido mo? Ah, Plama. 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 Ang apelido mo. Pila ka nakatuig? Lima nakatuig dito sa... Come on, sa Tabaw. Sa Tabaw. Oh, dugay ka kayo. Okay. Pila katuwik ang edad mo? Oh, 28 ko. 28. 28. 28. Oh. <laughs> ano ang pangalan ka imong asawa? Ang asawa si Nel. <laughs> anong apelido anong apelido niya? Oh. Sa mga Japan kay ninyo. <laughs> okay. Madam, mga salamat. Oh. Dakang salamat. Oh, oh. Mahulak ko sa imong sa kung na, kung mawag mo sa Pilipinas, mahulak ko dito sa Pilipinas. Nalipay gida ko, nalipay gida ko nga nakakita ay nakakilala ay kita dire. Oh, mahulak ko kay kay lipay ko po kung nakun dito o kung nasa dito. Oh, oh sige. sige. Paalam. Okay, salamat. <laughs> oh, pagamping na nai. <laughs> Might do a bit of that. I haven't forgotten my Visaya, you see. But I'm going to go to another location now on the other side of London. So Lee and Sinead are doing Filipino-inspired cuisine. But I heard about a guy over in Brixton who had traditional favourites like lechon and sinigang. I wanted to find out a bit more about this, but of course, I had to let him cut up the lechon first. So I'm here today, I'm in, in Brixton, in Sarat Baon with Budgie, who I nearly forgot his name. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, <laughs> this, this, this is Budgie. He's actually, he said he was born in Compostela, which is somewhere that I'm very, very familiar with, but he, you don't remember it? No, no, not, <laughs> not at all. I, so, I left when I was five, so it's been, been a while. So I grew up in uh, Sydney. I moved to London about, oh God, eight years ago now, I think. Uh, yeah, eight years. What I'm, what I'm wondering is what your concept is and how you got started here. Yeah, yeah. Um, we started off as a supper club, essentially something that I wanted to do sort of to reconnect with, with my Filipino roots. I mean, obviously, like I said, I, I, I was born in the Philippines, but then I, um, I grew up in Sydney, had an Aussie lifestyle, and as I got older, I, it, it sort of dawned on me that I was, I was sort of missing my my Filipino roots and, and, and wanted to learn more. I don't speak the language. I started cooking when I was in London. I was in, it was a second career for me. I was, I was in IT sales before. So I, I figured the best way to connect to my Filipino roots was to cook. Got a few recipes from my mum 
played around with it, uh, did some chefy things to it, and then started a little supper club. Eventually left my job and um, started Sarap as a restaurant, doing residencies, and that kind of put us on the map. We had a, a really good review from um, the Evening Standard, four out of five stars, and that kind of catapulted us um, and eventually led us to this site. So Brixton Village ran a competition to find the next sort of food operator, and uh, we won the competition. Yes. Part of the prize was to, to get this site. Sadly, we opened in January of 2020. We all know what happened. As a result of the pandemic and all that stuff, um, Sarab Bowen was, was created. And the idea was to create something that still allowed us to champion Filipino cuisine in London, but also um, allowed us to work through another lockdown if that happened and things like that. So so we created Sarab Bowen, which essentially is you know, all the things that we've learned at the restaurant over the years, quick, simple, accessible, um, and delicious Filipino food. And that, that's all we're trying to do here. I, I was looking at your menu and I can see it's, there's a lot of Filipino classics there. Is, is your food kind of the classic Filipino way or have you modified it a bit for British taste? We definitely don't hold back when it comes to, you know, flavors. If it was sour, we would make it sour. That's Sinigang, uh, fried chicken Sinigang. And obviously fried chicken, as a sinigang is not traditional, but the soup itself mm. is very sour, very, very, just the way, you know, we would like it. You know, Surat Bawon is probably a good balance of tradition, but also somewhat modern um, techniques and things like that. We're not trying to elevate Filipino cuisine. I don't, I don't think it needs elevation, it needs championing, and that's what we're here to do. We, we want people to really understand the flavors of, 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 of the Philippines. In terms of your customers, are they mostly Filipinos, mostly local, British, or a mix? When we were open as a, as a restaurant, it was definitely a, a good mix of, of customers. I think now, predominantly, it's very much uh, Filipino-based, um, or someone that knows Filipinos, or, or, or has some sort of knowledge of, of, the, of the cuisine. Um, I guess it's one of those things where, when, you know, when you're at home looking for a, for, for a delivery, you're not looking for, you know, Filipino on Uber Eats or, or delivery or anything like that. You're looking for mm. pizza, burger, pasta, what, what, you know, things that that sort of you're used to. So, yeah. you know, I think that's that's probably been one of the hardest things about um, us going into lockdown was we're not at the forefront of yeah. of um, people's minds, and um, you know, we're very much a still destinations type type cuisine. Mm. What's your most popular bestseller? Bestseller um, has to be, I suppose, our hero dish, which you know is sort of the one that put us on the map here in London. Is, is our lechon belly pretty traditional in terms of what we do with it? Uh, we serve it with our own liver sauce, not mung tamas. We, we make our own. I like to call it London lechon, inspired by you know my memories of eating lechon at every Filipino gathering that I've ever been to, every celebration that I've ever had. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean about lechon at those gatherings and yeah. I get to a lot of it and that's why I have this now. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. I uh, I used to be skinny. I used to be skinny, but I lived in the Philippines for five years. So. And I was so well fed with delicious flavours and even his underdevelopment chicken in a cell. Having stuffed my face full of the finest Filipino food London had to offer, I felt something was missing. No, not that. I got distracted by some awesome supporters before finding the Holy Grail. That castle's a pub. That's my kind of castle. <laughs> so I tried to be clever. The queue in Jolly was too long. I've got a train to catch, but I tried to be clever and order it for where I'm staying here while I was at the station thinking I'd race it back. And then I got to go, go through all the screens, get my order in, excited to get this like fried chicken burger, which doesn't exist in the Philippines. And then out of delivery zone failed but i did get this there's no bottle opener but trusty spoon it's the only way to do it right
You know, this tastes just like I remember it. It's strong. There's my ration for today. Because I'm tired, I've eaten a lot, and I need to get back without missing my train because that would be awkward. See ya.